Hello and welcome to yet another cooperation tutorial. Today I will talk about Helion, the Heat is Money Corp. It has grown on me recently and in today's video you will learn when to pick this corp, how to play it and what changes in the expansions. Let's get started. Helion starts with 42 mega credits, a space tag on the corp itself, 3 heat prod and its ability reads, you may use heat as MC, you may not use MC as heat. Obviously I like to pick Helion when my starting hand includes some heat prod. But other great cards for Helion are space events to increase the terraforming parameters and related to that some titanium prod. Also great plant prod cards that rely on the heat track like bushes or trees. That's because I prefer to go for a fast game with Helion and the reasons for that I will explain in the next section. Let's get to it. Helion's ability lets you use your heat SMC. The thing is, heat is more valuable as heat as it is SMC. Increasing the temperature with heat is much better than using it to play cards. A standard project asteroid costs 14 MC while a temperature step just costs 8 heat. Even if you think this is an unfair comparison, compare sponsors to import of advanced GHG. Both give 2 prod but the latter is more expensive. So using your heat as money is just not that great. Unless of course if the temperature track is already maxed out. That and the fact that you start with 3 heat prod should make it quite obvious that you want to raise up that track as fast as possible. Play heat prod in the early to mid game and play any other good temperature increasing cards that you come across because every point you make on that track is a point that your opponents cannot get. And when you are at 8 celsius you can freely use your heat as money while your opponents sit on their useless accumulated heat. Because you want to raise up the temperature track, any plant cards that rely on temperature can be played earlier than usual and therefore get much better. And now it should be clear why you want to go for a terraforming strategy with Helion. You raise up the temperature track, unlock good plant cards earlier and get great plant prod to also raise up the oxygen track. I will just also play some ocean cards and tada, you have a really fast game on your hands. To play these oceans you will probably use some event or space event cards. So if you can get hold of some titanium prod or even cards that give you space discounts or event rebates, go for them. Two other cards that I really like with Helion are Fish and Lake Marineris. It should be obvious why. In my typical Helium game their requirements are met very early, which makes these cards much better. In terms of milestones, Helion has a rough time on the base game board. Terraformer can work out quite nicely and Gardener is another possibility, but there are other corps that are much better suited for that one. Builder and Maya just straight up do not fit your game plan and Planner is anyone's to grab. So milestones are definitely a weakness of Helion in the base game. Awards present a similar problem. Some of you may think, but Thermalist is basically free. No, it's not. If the temperature is maxed out first, your opponents will accumulate a lot of heat until the game is done, since they have no way to use it. Even if they have way less heat prod than you, you now have to decide whether you want to use yours to profit off of your ability or if you want to secure the reward. Of course, there are rare cases when Thermalist is truly free. For example, I had a meme game a while back with Helion, where I had 27 heat prod. And yeah, in that case, no one is even coming close. All of the other awards are either not suited for your game plan, like Scientist or Banker, or there are other corps that just do it better, like for Landlord and Miner. Before we get to the next section, I want to talk about flexibility. Do not shy away from using your heat as MC in the early game if you really need to. If you can get an amazing card down one gen earlier, do it, even if it means you need to use some heat. Just remember, temperature steps should be your main focus. And that brings me to the last point. Recognize when you need to deviate from your original game plan. That's a tip that holds true for every corp, but you need to especially remember it as Helion, because you start off the game with one thought in mind, playing a fast game. But what if in your next draft you get AI Central, Research Outpost and Earthcat? Well, better adapt your game plan, because now you have the best cards for a long game. That was all I wanted to say about Helion in the base game, so let's get to the expansion changes. Venus next adds two new really bad heat producing cards and nothing else to consider for Helion, so let's talk about the other expansions that are in fact relevant to this corp. Colonies adds Io, a normally quite bad colony tile that can be quite good for Helion. 
That's perfect, because this means the other player will often trade to different planets, and you will have Io to yourself. Especially in the late game, when the temperature is maxed out already, you will not suffer from being the third or fourth player in the gen, because you will always have the Io to fall back on, while your opponents will fight over more generally good planets like Luna, Pluto or Miranda. The higher reliance on power prod for everyone is a fact Helion doesn't enjoy, as this means less potential heat prod for you, but this is a minor complaint. Turmoil adds the Calvinists, and this is insanely good for Helion. Of course, the ruling bonus of getting one MC for every heat prod each time this party is voted into power will help you immensely, and should be reason enough to place your delegates here whenever possible. But there's also a really cool play you can do in the first gen if the setup is right. If the Calvinists get just one neutral delegate from the opening global events, you can reliably get them into power for the second gen by placing just two delegates here. This will cost 5 MC, but you will get a TR for that, one more influence next gen, some cash depending on your heat prod, and the chance to use their ruling policy action. If you play with colonies, then this is insanely good. You can use it two or three times depending on how much power prod you need, and you will be able to trade starting gen 3. In contrast to other corps, in this scenario you will also love the heat prod that comes with this action. And lastly, let's talk about Hellas and Elysium, specifically their new milestones and awards. Hellas doesn't have any milestones that really favor Helion. There is some very light synergy with Tactician and Energizer, as you want to play plant cards that get unlocked with temperature and also benefit from high power prod. But this doesn't make you a top contender for both of these milestones in any way. On Elysium, it looks a bit different. You have a 3 prod head start on Specialist, and with the right cards, it can be quite easy to lock in this milestone. Additionally, you have light synergies with Legend, as you like playing space events, and Ecologist for similar reasons. But other corps have a much easier time securing these milestones. The only award on both maps that is worth talking about is Benefactor. Your starting heat prod and your favorite game plan really helps with winning this award. So think about claiming this one early. Thanks for watching today's tutorial on Helion. I hope you enjoyed it and if you did, please leave a like, subscribe and follow me on Twitch and Twitter. Also, give me your opinion on Helion in the comments. Do you like to play this corp? Other than this, I hope you have a great day and I will see you in the next video.